Hello and thank you for joining me. Today we're at Go Outdoors in Shrewsbury and we're going to have a look round this Berghaus Adara 500 tent. The Berghaus Adara 500 Nightfall tent is a five man tunnel style family tent. And according to the website, it uses the same premium materials as the award-winning air tent range. It uses three poles, the two ones at the front are the same size, with the one at the back being a bit shorter, so there's less headroom in the bedroom, which is at the back of the tent. And it's currently on sale for £329 and go outdoors. Those of you that look at go outdoors regularly will know that the prices do fluctuate quite a bit, so that price could change. The tent comes in a bright blue colour to match the other air tents that Berghaus make. But this example at Go Outdoors Shrewsbury has obviously suffered a bit of sun fading as it's been left outside for much longer than you'd expect. The main entrance is at the front of the tent and that door zips to the side and can be strapped away. And then we have this secondary entrance around the side of the tent which zips from bottom to top. If we go around the back of the tent you can see that the rear of the tent where the bedroom is is slightly lower than the front of the tent obviously you don't need the headroom in the bedroom where you're sleeping you'll also see this vent at the back at the top which allows air to flow through the tent to help with condensation looking at the other side of the tent you can see there's a window at the front and then further back at the base of the sleeping area you'll see we have another vent again to aid with airflow to help reduce condensation inside the tent. You'll also find on this side that underneath the window we have a power access point. This will zip open to allow you to put your electric hookup cable through and then zip it close up to the wire or if you're not using it have it zipped close completely. And there is another power access point at the other side of this tent below the secondary door so you can plug in from either side. Back to the front of the tent and as you can see this is the main door and as I said, it zips to the side. There's a fly sheet and a mesh door. The fly sheet uh, zips down at the sides and then has these Velcro uh, patches at the bottom to hold it down. Uh, and when you zip to the side, as you can see, we've got these little um, strap things that will hold it to the side out of the way. Um, and you can also do that for your mesh door. Um, the mesh door does zip all the way around uh, in a circle. That's why you've got the little step as you come in. All the windows have curtains, these can be um, put out or clipped to the side as you can see all the ones in this at the moment are clipped uh, either at the bottom of the windows or to the side. This is a decent sized little living area for probably two or three people. Um, this is a five man tent but I probably wouldn't want to put five people in this living area so if it was raining outside it would be quite tight sitting in here. Over this side we've got the door, again we have a, a mesh door which zips all the way around to the base and we have the fly sheet. Um, the fly sheet also has a curtain which can be clipped up or down out of the way. Here again you can see the electrical access point where your electric hookup would come through if you have it. The bedrooms are nightfall, this means you get less light in the mornings as they're made of a black fabric. And between the two bedrooms you have those little pockets which are great for storing things. As you can see the doors have a mess section at the top which can be zipped up or down. And this is the bigger of the two bedrooms, this is meant for three people. The divider between the bedroom just clips in place, it doesn't fully zip so it's not sealed so not as much privacy but if you are sleeping just with a piece of fabric between um, how much privacy do you really have. Some pockets there down at the side, there's also some in the other smaller bedroom. There you can see the mesh at the top of the door. Um, the mesh is good to, to unzip if it's a bit uh, stuffy or lets a bit of air in. There you go, see more pockets at the side of this uh, smaller bedroom which is meant for two people. Here is the main door with the curtain up and the mesh section of the door just clipped to the side. As you can see it blocks out quite a bit of light and these are the clips that you need to undo uh, to open the curtain. So that's a look around the tent. There's not a lot else to show as it's only a, a small five-man tent. 
Um, I think the thing that sets this tent apart from other five-man tents that you'd get from Go Outdoors, Millets and Blacks, which are all the same company if you didn't know, is that the hydrostatic head of the material that's used to make this tent um, has a rating of 6,000 millimetres. Um, you'll find that high gear tents are generally 4,000 millimetres and Euro hike tents are generally 2,000 millimetres. All these tents are made specifically just for Go Outdoors, Millets and Blacks. Um, I think Ultimate Outdoors as well is another brand they have. Um, and so a lot of them come out of the same factory, but what distinguishes this um, is that hydrostatic head. Um, as you can see it uses night pool bedrooms just like high gear tents do. Looking at the poles they look to be exactly the same as any other high gear tent. Um, so I think that's the main distinguishing factor um, this material that's used up. It does seem a bit thicker than high gear tents uh, and, and good quality. Um, and that explains why this tent is a little bit more expensive than other five man tents of this sort of size. So if you're looking for a tent that will stand up to heavy rain um, and this is the right size, this is probably a good one to go for. If you're a fair weather camper and would avoid camping in heavy rain, I would probably recommend saving your money and going for something like a, a Hampton 4 by High Gear or a Van Gogh Icarus 500. Again, very similar size to this tent, but a high trust jacket head of 4,000, a little bit less than this one. I think you're going to have to be camping continually in very heavy rain to notice the difference. Um, my high gear tent has a hydrostatic rating of 4000 and I've never had a problem. But if you're after a really good quality tent uh, of this size, this is certainly not a bad option. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this has been useful. If it has, please like and subscribe to the channel and happy camping! <coughs>